What's up guys, Austin Newman here today coming out with yet another Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the RGB spin transition. This is a really cool transition you can add to your next travel video or music video. It's pretty simple and we're going to go ahead and dive in on how you can achieve this effect. Okay, so I have my two clips loaded on my timeline and as you can see, this is going the opposite direction than the road. So just to make this transition a little bit smoother, we're gonna go ahead and flip one of these clips, which is perfectly fine to do since there's no text or logos anywhere that would uh, be obvious that it's flipped. So, so now that that looks a little bit smoother, let's go ahead and find dissolve in our effects panel over here. Cross dissolve. And let's bring that right in between our two clips. This will just kind of smooth everything out. And let's grab one of the ends and bring this down until it says four in the right hand corner four frames. I like to do about two frames on each side. So that that should be about good. Now what we want to do is go over here to our project panel, right click new item adjustment layer. I have HD settings 24 frames a second. So that looks good. Let's bring this adjustment layer and lay it over top of the two clips. So let's go ahead and go right here in between the two clips. And what we want to do is count over and I do about seven frames on each side. So let's just go ahead and count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, using the arrow keys, bring that in, go back to the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and bring that into the middle. So now that we have our adjustment layer set, what we want to do is go over here back to our effects panel and grab replicate, drag that onto our clip. So you notice that this added four different frames in each corner, but we want one in the middle that we can rotate around and this is very important. So go over to your effects panel and under replicate, enter a value of three. So that'll give us one frame to rotate around and punch into. While we have our adjustment layer selected, go ahead and hold down alt and drag this up just to create another one and go ahead and delete that replicate on the top layer. Now, when we're on the bottom adjustment layer, go back to your effects panel and type in mirror, drag that over to your clip. And now what we want to do is add in a reflection angle value of negative 90. So what we want to do in the objective here is to move this right value over. We want to get rid of all these harsh lines here. So by doing something along these lines. So we just want to make sure this looks seamless. Let's bring this, uh, looks like maybe that looks good, a value of 360. Now we're going to grab mirror again and drag that to our bottom adjustment layer. And for the reflection angle, let's do 90 this time. And playing with the right value, let's bring this down until we get rid of all those harsh edges. And that looks good. Now let's bring mirror over to our clip again and enter a value of 180 for the reflection angle. And we will bring our left value over to the left. And let's make sure these two line up here think about 940 will do the trick. And let's bring over a mirror one more time onto that same adjustment layer. You don't have to play with the reflection angle, just leave it as it is, as a value of zero. And then bring your reflection center over to the left and get rid of this last harsh edge. And that looks good, so that's kind of what we want. Now let's go to our top adjustment layer. Under the effects panel, go ahead and type in transform and grab the distort transform here. Now what we want to do is scale this up to 300. So now that we've gotten rid of all the other sides of it, we want to go down here to use composition shutter angle and de-click that. And let's go ahead and do a value of 300 for the shutter angle. And this will add a natural blur as this rotates around. So let's go to the beginning of this clip here and under rotation on this transform property, click the stopwatch and then go to the right all the way at the end of this clip. With that selected, go ahead and enter a value of 360 to make sure it rotates one full time around. Now go over to your keyframe where you just entered the rotation value, the far right one. Go ahead and right click on it and go ease in. And then for the beginning one on the left, let's go to ease out. And that'll kind of give it a cleaner image. And that's the spin. Now we want to add the RGB element to it. So for this, we're going to be using the nesting tool to achieve this effect. Let's go ahead and pull out our cutting tool with C on the keyboard, cut both of the sides here, and select both of these clips. Right click here, and then go to nest. For this, let's just call it new. For me, it would be new too, because I already have one that I did earlier. So let me go ahead and bring my adjustment layers and pull those up a little bit so we have some room. Now let's go to our new two nest and it's still gonna have the same properties but we need to do this so we can separate the channels a lot easier. So go over here to your effects panel again and type in RGB 
and you'll find color balance RGB. Drag that onto your clip. Now what you want to do is go to the blending mode on this nested clip and go to linear dodge add. Now on the same nested clip over here under color balance, we want to take green down all the way and blue down all the way, leaving just the red channel. Now holding alt while this clip is selected, drag this up and we'll do one more, drag this up. So that gives us a couple of copies to play with. And let's go ahead and pull all of these up one more time so we can move these as we need to. So now that we have a clip for each of our channels, make sure this top one is red. The second one, let's go ahead and bring the red down to a value of zero and bring green up to 100. I think it'll default to 39, but that's fine. And then we go down here to the bottom clip and bring this all the way down and bring the blue channel to 100. So this will play through just like normal now, now that we have all the channels mixed in, and that's fine. But what we want to do now is we want to offset these a little bit, and we do that by going to each clip and moving them slightly. Let's go to the left side, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, hitting plus on the keyboard to zoom in. And I'm going to keep this first one just how it is, but let me go over here to the second one, and let me bring that over two frames. Using the arrow keys, one, two, I'm going to bring that over, and then two more frames for the bottom clip, one, two. Okay, so now that we have those clips separated, let's pull all of these to the front like this and pull this bottom one there. Now what we want to do is we want to clip this edge here. And I find that mostly this works best when it's coming out of the spin. So let's go ahead and clip it right here for these. We'll bring all of these in and bring this bottom one in. And that's how you achieve this effect. It's a pretty simple effect. Uh, I know it seems like there's a few steps to it, but you do this a couple times, it's super easy. And you can add all of these to other transitions that you'd like to do. So if you learned something, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials like this. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.